and it's been a tough couple of days for solar. It has done nothing but rain and be super gloomy. This morning when I come out, the battery bank was at like 19%. So far, still very happy with the Victron setup. The job today is gonna to be those other batteries that I showed you, getting them installed. And I'm thinking they'll just go on the other side of that subwoofer there and I'll tie them into the system. I think what I'm gonna do is shut all of this down, leave the charge controller going to be recharging the batteries. That way all the power that we get today can try to get those batteries topped off so I can tie the new batteries in parallel with the old ones. Yes, I know this is kind of janky, but when I finally get the, the setup finished and complete, it'll have its own neat little panel box that I purchased. I'm just kind of getting together the basic idea of what I want to do before I commit to doing a whole bunch of electrical that's a, more of a permanent installation. Well, the problem that I have is I've only got one of these left. And that'll also require me crimping a bunch of extra crap on the ends. I've got the fuses. I just don't know if I want to go through the hassle of doing the fuse holders and all that. I don't see why I can't use a regular bolt and some washers and go right on the end of the fuse. Put my wire on that. I can tighten the hell out of that. I haven't got to worry about damaging that bolt. And then this can clip onto the battery on the positive side and eliminate a lot of extra fittings and a whole lot of extra crimping on a bunch of stuff I don't want to do. We'll see. I've already checked the voltage on all on, on the batteries. All of them are currently sitting at 13.6 volts. Uh, I'll get them unwired, kind of get a rough layout of how I want to put them, and then start building some cables. Now it's time to move the batteries in and hopefully that bank in there will charge up enough today that I can make these connections. Well, I've got it all wired up. All eight, ba all eight batteries are now installed. That gives me a total of 400 kilowatt. Tell them I'm trying to say I'm tired. <laughs> that gives me a total of 400 amp hours of storage. Uh, luckily the sun was shining enough today that it charged the other four batteries up. Swapped it over, let it charge up, top off these other four, put them back together, reset my shunt. We're at 100%. We had real good sunshine today. So hopefully When I get my other shipment in, I'll get those other panels. And I've got another charge controller that I'll have to add to this system because that one's pretty much maxed out with the 1300 watts that's on it. That one's, this charge controller currently has those four panels on it, which is 305 times four, 1230 watts. But I've, I've seen it bringing in over 1300 before. But I've got that second charge controller I'll have to add and I'm gonna add probably four of the panels that I have coming in. That'll be adding another 1600 watts. So that'll give me a total of about 3000 watts on a 400 amp hour bank. Might be over provisioned a little bit, but I don't see no problem with that. That's all I got, bye.